G'day and thanks for joining me for this Tabata workout. Today I've got my brother joining me for this workout, but before we get into it and I tell you what we're doing today, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all these videos. Okay, so the Tabata protocol is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. We do that for four minutes, which works out to be eight rounds. The exercises we're going to be doing are squat thrusters, push-ups, double leg lowers, and bicep curl lunges. So we do one set of Tabata for each exercise, with each one being four minutes, that equals 16 minutes in total for the whole workout. Give or take a minute or two recovery in between to move into the next exercise. Are we ready to get into it? Let's do it. Let's go, we're starting with squat thrusters. I'm gonna get set up over here, grab your weights. You got the big ones. Hero here. Okay, ready, set, go. So squatting nice and deep, keep a straight back. Bring your weights down as you come down and push your weights up over your head as you go up. And rest. And put the weights up. Okay, ready? Go. And done. Do you know how many we done? How many are we doing in each one? Whew. Two. Go. How are those weights going? Heavy. Wouldn't have the heavy weights. All right, three down, number four. Go. Take a break. Make sure every rep is good. All righty. Well done, we're halfway down. Two minutes down, two minutes to go. Whew, halfway through this, this round. Through this set, sorry. Feel the shoulder burn. Take your time in between each one, put your waist down if you need to. Have a break, and then jump back in. Well done, three rounds left. 90 seconds. Go. Put your waist down in between if you need to have a break. Whew. Good work. Alrighty, last two rounds. Let's go. <sighs> last one. <laughs> yeah, if you want. Come back a bit. Oh, these are a bit heavier. Oh, done. Good work. Take a break. Well done. Grab a drink if you want one. If you need a drink, go and grab one. 
If you don't, press the pause button if you need a bit of a longer break. All right, are you ready? Push-ups, grab your mats. Okay, go down that side. Just move over a touch. Okay, are we ready to go again? This is our second exercise. Push-ups, ready, set, go. Well done. One lot down. Good work, just sit back on your haunches, have a rest. It's not long though. Drop down to your next level as soon as you need to. That's on your knees. Well done. So it's on your knees from there, still knees at the back, and the next level down from that is knees straight under your hips in the quadruped position. Let's go. Hold on. Good work. Ah, salty sweat in the eye. Ready? Go. <sighs> Drop down to my knees now. Good work, well done. Nearly there. Halfway. Four down, four to go. Ready, let's go. Starting back up on the feet. Oh. And time back for the knees. Make sure you got your fingers pointing straight ahead. Elbows coming back. Not out in front or out to the side. Well done, good work. Three to go, nearly there. Doing well. Okay, ready? Let's go. Starting on the knees. Nice strong core. Oh, I think I'm down to the Pilates push up. And that's what it looks like. Two to go. Whew. Good. <laughs> Standing on the knees. Knees out the back. Go at your level. I'm moving my knees in. Like a prayer type push up. Well done. Last one. Woo! Alrighty. This is it. Last one. Oh. Awesome work, well done. That is really, really good. I'm gonna move these mats into the double leg lower position. Put them side on for you to see. Okay, you ready to go straight into it? If you guys need a break, hit the pause button. We're gonna jump straight in. Exercise. Time started. Remember, keep your lower back flat on the ground. You only take your legs down, your heels down as low as you can maintain your lower back flat on the mat. You're trying to leave an imprint of your spine in the mat. I like to come up into this crunch position with my head up 
and rest my head in my hands because that then helps to push your lower back down. When you're back like that, your lower back is much more inclined to pop up. I mean to get to at least completely vertical. Well done. You can let yourself pop up in this. You can let your ribs pop up in this part. Relax and go. Aim to keep your legs straight. Well done. Woo. We're doing well today. Good workout. Hey. <laughs> he's dropping off, he's dropping his feet like big heavy iron weights. I'm a fitness trainer. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Remember, if you need to make it easier, just make this movement just this. Just the top part. Don't go all the way down. If you want to be even easier again, bend your knees to 90 degrees and take your heels down to the ground, keeping your lower back flat. If you want to make it even easier again, go one at a time. One, two, three, and so on. All right, let's go. Well done. Whew. Doing well. I don't know how many we've got left to go. Do you know how many we've got? Whew. I lost count. I think two. Sounds about right. Remember, drop down to your level. Finish it off with good technique. Don't pump it out trying to do everything you can and sacrifice your technique. Oh, I'm going to drop back to here just for a sec. Oh. This must be the last one. <laughs> I hope so. Alrighty. Bend your knees and do them individually if you need them to be easier. Oh. That's where I'm going to. Keep your lower back flat. And done. Oh, God. we're done. Well done. Good work. I'm going to pop this back here. Hang it up because we are done with that. We are back to our weights where we started the session. We're 12 minutes in. We got four minutes to go. He's going off to grab a drink of water. Grab a quick drink if you want one. But if you want a longer breast, uh, break, break, rest, breast, then hit the pause button. Okay, you using the big ones? Nah, no, no. <laughs> they're too heavy. I said this to him. Little brothers, I said this to him. Oh, there you go. I said, they're gonna be heavy. It's not just lifting it eight times. This is not like going to the gym. This is a home workout. This is where we work hard. Hey, I work hard at the gym. <laughs> Are you ready, set, ready to go? Exercise. Let's do it. Lunges into a bicep curl. Start off with both up. When you need a break, then just go one at a time. And it's the opposite one to your legs if you're doing one at a time. Nice straight core. That's it. Show me what you're just doing. 
Alright, so now drop those weights if they're too heavy, come back to these ones, stop with me. No good doing too heavy of a weight. So we want to go like this one at a time. You want to stay nice and tall through the lunge. So see you're collapsing, drop the weights off. So get the bicep curl and just do the lunge. Pop the weights down. You're going back to a lunge. Okay, ready? Keep yourself nice and straight. That back foot should be pointing straight ahead. That's it, that's better. Now stay tall. Perfect. So we don't want to be leaning forward. We don't want all the weight on the front leg, or even the majority of the weight. You want the weight to be 50-50, front to back leg. So when we go down into a lunge, stepping forward, so we've got a nice square through here. Let's go. Both our feet should be pointing straight forward. Lunge is a very difficult exercise to do, but it's a fundamental movement. Fundamental to human movement, and very important that you get it right. So we want to stay nice and tall through here. Nice line, knee, hip, shoulder. Go. Stay tall. Stay tall in your lunge when you lower down. Don't drop that left foot out to the side. Keep that left foot straight. Keep it straight. Perfectly straight. Keep it straight. Still dropping out. Well done. So what I mean by that, is when we go down, we don't want it out here. We want that foot pointing straight. We want that to be straight ahead. Let's go. Take a break if you need a good rest. Six down, we only got two to go. That means one more minute. Two lots of 20 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Now if this is easy and you've got the core strength, you can do your dumbbells together. But you need to keep your lower back and torso nice and straight. It's also going to really work your shoulders more, holding your shoulder in a set position. Last one. Let's go. No momentum, so don't throw your weights. Don't rock them back, throw them back in order to throw them forward. Doing good. Awesome, well done. While he goes to get a drink, I'm going to congratulate you on getting that finished. Well done. 16 minutes. Tabata is a hard workout, but extremely effective. That was a really, really good, strong workout. So if you've got any questions about this workout, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked it, then please, I encourage you to share it with your friends. And for access to all these videos as soon as they come out, make sure you sign up to the YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And for a bunch of great resources that I only share through email, as well as other stuff which is available on the website, head on over to jacobandre.com and sign up for email updates. Thanks for joining us in this workout. It's been a pleasure to have him for the first time. I'm sure we'll see him again and we'll see him progress as we go. So thanks for joining me and see you in the next video. The Tabata protocol is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. We do that for four minutes, which works out to be eight rounds. Eight rounds. Start again. So the Tabata protocol is that. Okay, so the Tabata.
Tapata. <laughs> Tapata water call. Ready? Okay, so the Tabata protocol is 20 seconds of what? <laughs> You're making me nervous now. One, two, three, go. Just do it. No, hang on. Okay, so the workout is a Tabata workout, and Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four rounds. <sighs> the Tabata protocol is 30 seconds of work. Oh, no, it's not 30 seconds. <laughs> G'day, and thanks for joining me today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll delete it. <laughs>